Hello viewers, in this tutorial we'll be creating this social media advertisement banner. Without much ado, let's get started. Let's create a new file with a size of with a width of 1080 pixels and a height of 1080 pixels and at a resolution of 300. Let's create a new solid color with this color hex code 0061A0. Uh, let's introduce our image as a background let's transform the size of the image let's change the color let's change the mode of the image to luminosity let's introduce uh, some doodle sparkles let's transform the size i'll duplicate it Control t to flip it horizontally let's transform the size a bit and position it on the left side i will change the mode i'll change the mode of both to linear light I'll create a new solid color with this color X code 052F4A. I'll rasterize this layer. Now let's introduce our brush, increase the size of our brush. Okay, uh, let's accept, let's apply the layer max. Uh, let's give the background the tint of a blue by, by creating uh, a color balance. Uh, let's, with the mid-tones selected, let's increase the blue. Okay, so we're done with our background. So let's group all the layers and rename it as our background. Uh, let's introduce a photo to the background. Uh, let's transform the size a bit. Okay, we're good to go. Uh, let's convert it to a smart object. Let's apply a camera of filter to it. Let's go to the detail tab and pump the amount to 124. Let's accept it. Let's duplicate the image again. This time I'll remove the camera or features of this image. Let's change it. Let's add a color overlay to it. Okay. Let we using this color X code for the overlay. Let's accept it. Let's see if it was applied. Okay, we're done. So, we'll, we'll rasterize this layer. Again, and let's rename it as our shadow. Okay. So, let's zoom into our image. So with our shadow, let's raise it up. A, let's select the shadow layer and raise it up a bit. Okay. So let's change the mode to linear add, linear dodge add. So let's see. Let's. Okay, let's revert back to normal. Let's rasterize this layer again. Let's change the mode to linear dodge add. Okay. So now let's group this and rename it as our photo. Okay, let's create a folder again and rename it as our adjustments. In this folder, let's create 
a new solid color with the following Xcode 01165A. Let's accept it. Let's select the layer and rasterize the layer. Let's introduce our brush. Let's decrease the size of our brush. Let's fade it from the top below. Okay. Now let's create another solid color. This time we'll give it a black, a color of black. Let's rasterize the layer. Uh, with our brush tool activated, let's brush it from the top below again. Now let's apply the layer maxes to each layer. Let's create another solid color with this S code. Zero 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 one one six five A. With the brush tool activated, let's fade. Let's fade it up from this level. Okay. Let's accept. Let's rasterize the layer. Let's apply the, the layer max to it. Let's create another solid color with the following Xcode 1565A. Let's select the max and brush it from brush it out from this level at this level sorry let's rasterize the layer let's accept let's apply the layer max so with this layer we change the mode to linear dodge add linear dodge add We'll do the same thing to this layer in your dodge add. So we are done with the adjustments. Let's create another layer that will contain the text. So let's rename it as a promo. So this layer will contain our text. Uh, let's initiate the rectangle too. Let's create white uh, shape let me zoom into our art, our artwork and let's press ctrl T to transform the size a bit okay let's add our text the following test kids promo using the lemon milk with both with the font face of both and this color let's see if we can use this color see how it goes okay let's transform the size a bit Let's transform the, sh the, 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 the the size of the shape layer. Let's pull the kids promo to the left side. Let's duplicate the test. Let's rename it as cell. Let's change the font to Hevitas. Let's change the font to Hevitas.
Vitas. The Vitas regular. Let's change the color to white. Let's transform the size. Let's accept it and transform the size. Okay, let's accept it. Let's select the rectangle and transform the size yet again. Let's see up to this level. Let's transform the size of the cell again. Let's zoom into our artwork. Let's reduce the size of the kits promo. Let's move it up a bit. Let's position our rectangle shape. Let's transform the size a bit. Okay. Let's duplicate that shape. Let's transform the size again of that shape. Let's accept it. Let's duplicate the kids promo text. Let's change the color to white. Let's change the font face to regular. Let's reduce the size. Let's, let's change the font again. Uh, the test uh, I mean to say affordable. I care. I care for all. Okay, let's accept it and transform the size. Let's accept it. Uh, let's increase the tracking. Let's increase the tracking further again. Okay, let's transform the size. Let's zoom out to see where, where we've gotten to so far. Okay. Let's create a rectangle. With a, without a fill and a solid of white. Let's give it a 3 pixel stroke. Okay, let's duplicate the affordable text. Let's change the font face to light. Let's change the text to shop now. So now let's select the the shop now and the and this and this rectangle and let's align them horizontally and vertically. Okay. Now let's select it and group it and rename it as a CTA as a call to attention or call to button. So at this stage we are done. Let's see if we can add some finer polish to our artwork. Let's add a color lookup to brighten our image. Okay, let's change it. Let's select the three strip that look. So let's zoom in. So at this stage, this is what we have for our final artwork. Thanks for your time and continue watching for more exciting tutorials. Ciao.